guys, it's Ashling and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a functional mobility workout. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of mobility work for the joints, so opening up the joints, making them feel and move a little bit better, um, lengthening through the tissues that surround the joints, so that being the capsules of the joints, your ligaments, your tendons, your muscles. Um, we're going to start from the mat first, we're going to work through our spine and our pelvis, we're going to work then through our upper back, through our chest, working around the shoulders and the neck, generally those areas that are quite tight in the population. So with all that being said, let's get to it. So all you need for today's video is a little bit of space, a mat and yourself. We're going to start on the mat, we're going to come all the way down. You can take your shoes off, if they're not already off already, if they're not off already. We're going to slide ourselves all the way over, you're going to come down and have a lie down, okay, all the way down onto your back. Hands are just going to be down by your side with your palms facing upwards. And what I want you to do is just allow the pelvis to be nice and heavy into the mat itself. And then both knees and feet in line with each other, feet heavily placed on the floor. We're going to take a nice big deep breath in. We're just going to start to rock those knees over to the left hand side. We're going to inhale, bringing them all the way back through the midline. Exhale as you draw them over to the opposite side. Inhale to return. Don't worry if your lower back has started to lift a little bit up and off the mat, that's totally fine. Okay, that's actually what we're looking for. It's a little bit of spinal twist movement. Nice and relaxing, stretching out the muscles from the, the lower back down to the pelvis. Okay. Nice big deep breaths in. You may notice that it's a little bit tighter to start with and then you'll start to loosen up the more repetitions you do. And again, you can take this at your own pace. We're gonna go then for that last time, over to the left hand side. Nice and relaxed through the upper body, through your torso, your head and your neck. Bringing those legs all the way back and into center then. We're gonna keep our left leg in a bent position. We're going to allow the right leg to go nice and long, all the way out to the end of the mat. I want you to grab a hold of your left knee in towards your chest, okay, with your right hand. What you're going to do is you're going to draw that left knee across the right leg towards the floor on the right side of the mat. Breathing in nice and deep. Try not to allow the left shoulder to remove itself from the mat. Getting a nice stretch then all the way down the back line of that left side of your body, even in through your bone muscles and your glutes, down along the side of your thigh, breathing in nice and deep. Feeling a little rotation through the spine. Don't worry if you hear a couple of clicks. It can be quite nice. Allowing then that left leg to come all the way back up and into centre. We're going to swap the sides now. So your right knee is going to come in towards your chest. Your left leg is going to go along. We're going to grab a hold of that right knee with our left hand. And we're going to exhale as we draw that right knee all the way over. It's going to come towards the floor on that left side. Don't worry if you feel that it's quite tight. Everybody is different. Again, not allowing that right shoulder to drop away or move away from the mat itself. Getting that nice spinal twist, breathing in nice and deep. I feel this around like the base of my right rib cage, around the back of the pelvis on the right side. A little bit different now to what I was feeling on the left. Nice, big deep breaths in. Every exhale, just pushing a little bit further. Breathing in nice and deep, then again we return that left leg all the way back down, or that right leg should I say, all the way back down onto the mat. Breathing in nice and deep. Okay, from here then we're going to start to work through a little bit of our pelvic movement. So what you want to do is, even if you want, place your hand on your pubic bone on the front of your pelvis. Okay, notice how your pelvis can rock forwards and backwards. So, what we're going to do is, as you inhale, you're going to picture your pubic bone on the front of your pelvis. I want you to start to roll it away from the center of the body as if to send it down between your thighs towards the mat. 
You'll notice then you have a big pocket of space underneath your lower back, so I can place my hand in underneath the back, the underneath my lower back. As I exhale, I'm gonna draw my pubic bone up and in towards my belly button, noticing how my rib cage and my pelvis are shortening in towards each other. Inhale again, I roll away my arch through the lower back. Exhale as I roll the pubic bone towards me. So as we inhale, we roll away into our anterior pelvic tilt, and as we exhale, we roll towards. And we're going to do that three more times, just waking up the pelvis. Noticing maybe how you might be a little bit stuck in one aspect, so maybe rolling the pubic bone away is a little bit more difficult for you than rolling it towards you. Again, everybody is different. Just working into those positions a little bit more, maybe. Last time. And we exhale and roll that pubic bone towards you. Okay. From here then, we're gonna allow ourselves to come over onto our side. You can choose a side, whatever side you want. And I'm gonna come over onto my left. I'm actually gonna grab a small pillow from my head and neck. I'm gonna lie my shoulder down onto the mat. My head and neck is gonna come onto a pillow. My hip bone on the left hand side is going to come in line with my shoulder. And I'm gonna bend my knees up to roughly 90 degrees. What that does is it locks out your lower back. So we're looking for upper back or thoracic spine rotation and opening, okay? You're gonna place your left hand all the way in front of you. And then your right hand is gonna come up on top of your left. From here then, I want you to breathe in as you reach your right hand all the way up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, I want you to bend your elbow. We send the back of the upper arm towards the floor behind us and you'll notice now your chest is starting to move. So your breastbone is starting to move up towards the ceiling. Getting that nice rotation through your upper back and rib cage. You can lengthen out your right hand all the way over on the opposite side if you want. And then as you inhale, you reach that right hand all the way back up towards the ceiling and you exhale to come all the way over. We're gonna do this four times. So we inhale as we reach up. Exhale as we roll that elbow down towards the floor behind us, allowing that chest and rib cage to open. Exhale, inhale, lift, exhale as we come over. Last three, inhale to lift, exhale to roll. And what you'll notice is you'll get a little deeper each time. You might even feel this in the front of your shoulder in your pec muscle, you know, that is quite normal. Inhale to lift that hand all the way back up. Exhale as you come over. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Breastbone is facing the ceiling. We should be only moving through our mid back. Lower back stays in the same position. Inhale as we lift. Exhale, to come over. Last time. Hopefully, we've got a little bit more movement out of this. Exhale as you roll all the way down. Breathing in, you can stay here if you want and breathe another couple of times. And then breathe in as you lift all the way back up. Exhale as you come over. Excellent, okay, let's go to the opposite side now. I'm gonna move myself over this way. So we're gonna come down onto our right side now. I'm gonna use my pillow, align my right shoulder down on the mat. Right hip in line with my right shoulder. Right hand reaches out in front, left hand on top. Bending both my knees up to 90 degrees so I lock out my lower back. Okay, this time we're working through the left mid back. Okay, so on our thoracic spine, here are two sides. This time we're working through left rotation. Inhale as we lift all the way up. Exhale as we come all the way around. So elbow again, trying to touch the floor. I'm feeling a little bit stiffer on this side. It is quite difficult. Inhale to lift. Exhale as we come over. Okay, we're going four more. Remembering your breathing pattern. If it is a little bit too difficult, you can breathe whatever feels more comfortable for you. Again, we can lengthen out that left hand if you want. I'm gonna keep mine bent. You're gonna inhale as you lift. Exhale to rotate over. Three. Again, we allow that breastbone to show up towards the ceiling, trying not to move through our lower back. Inhale, lift, exhale, over. And again, it's up to everybody, as everyone is different, how much movement you're gonna have. 
So don't worry if it's quite stiff and stuck in the first couple of repetitions. The more you do this exercise, the more it's going to loosen up. Generally, the population are quite stiff in our upper back. We spend a lot of time sitting down around a computer, so it's to be expected. Last one. Exhale as that left hand comes all the way down again. You can choose to stay here for another couple of breaths if you really want. If it feels quite nice, then happy days. Inhale as you lift that left hand up. Exhale to come all the way over. Really nice. So hopefully we're feeling a little bit more open even through the front of the chest. A little bit of more movement through your upper back. And again, we've engaged nicely through our breath as well. Okay, what we're going to do now is move on to all fours. So we're in quadruped position. So you have your hands and your knees onto the mat, shin bones, feet are nice and flat, okay? What you want is your wrist to be just slightly in front of your shoulder joint, you move back a little bit more. So your wrist in front slightly, about a centimetre and a half, okay? Our shoulders don't like direct pressure, so we don't allow our shoulders to come over our wrists. We stay in this position. And then our knees are going to come underneath our hip joints. So we have a nice 90 degree angle roughly between thighs and torso and shoulders and torso. So what we're going to do from here is you're going to align both the front bony parts. So those big thick bony parts on the front of your pelvis. I want you to keep them nice and level. Okay, again we work through a little bit of pelvic neutral. Okay. And then we're going to allow our little cat camel or cat cow. I don't know what way people call it. as hollow hump. Anyway, <laughs> extension, flexion of the spine. So, what you want to do is you inhale. I want you to think about your tailbone. You're going to send the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Pubic bone is rolling underneath the pelvis. Belly button is dropping down towards the mat. Your chest bone is going to lift forwards and your head and neck is going to lift. So, you get nice extension through every vertebrae, every segment of the spine. And as you exhale, I want you to curl and round. So curl the tailbone underneath the pelvis and then start to round the spine. Then you can drop the head and neck and draw your nose towards your chest bone. Inhale, extension. Exhale as you flex, rounding through that spine. Two more here. So we allow every vertebrae, every segment, to move through both positions. So both extension and flexion. Excellent. Okay, moving then from our quadruped position into our child's pose. So what you want to do is you're going to allow the bum to come back towards your heels. Your knees can be as wide as you want or together if it feels a little bit better for you. Sitting the bum down towards your heels, you're going to draw those hands or curl them out in front of you nice and long. And you're going to push your chest down towards the mat. Breathing in nice and deep. We might feel that nice stretch all the way up the back line of the body. Keep pushing those bums down towards the floor, down towards your heels, chest bones sinking down towards the mat. Just one last breath in this position. And then what you're going to do is you're going to walk your right hand all the way over, just towards the outside of the mat on the right. Hold in here. I want you to draw your left hand up on top of your right palm. And you're gonna open the armpit so you can see my head now peeking up and underneath that left arm and you should reach that left hand a little bit further out from the right so crawling out a little bit longer and now your left bum or sit bone so the bone that you sit on should be pushing again a little further down towards that left heel breathing in again here nice and deep should feel a little stretch then up towards the side body, okay, up around your lats. And then we're going to allow that left hand to come all the way back into centre. This time the left hand comes all the way out to the left side, right hand up on top. 
and I'm feeling this one a little bit more so my right side's a little bit tighter. Allowing that right hand to crawl a little further beyond the left and allowing my right sit bone, the bone that I sit on, my bum cheek on the right to go further towards my heel. Breathing in nice and deep. Just one last breath in this position. And then coming all the way back and into center. We're gonna come back up and into our quadruped from here now. So we raise the bum away from the heels, back up and into our 90 degree position. From here, I want you to tuck your toes underneath onto the mat. Okay, so you curl those toes up and onto the mat. We're gonna lift the bum up now as if to send the bum towards the ceiling, and you're gonna try and allow those heels to come towards the mat itself. So we're pushing down through the heels, feeling that deep stretch all the way up the back line of the legs. Tailbone is lifting up towards the ceiling into your downward dog position. Breathing in nice and deep here. You can always walk your feet in a little bit if you want to get a deeper stretch through the back lines. Even if you're feeling you're a little bit bent through the knees, that's totally fine. Nice big deep breaths. You're going to start to bend nice and deep through that right knee. So the left heel now is going to push a little further down towards the floor. Nice deep stretch all the way up the back of that left side. And then we change. So left knee bends now, right heel goes down towards the floor. And again, changing the sides. And change. You're going to go two more, so one on each side, right knee bends, left heel pushing down and into that mat, and then change again, left knee bends, right heel pushing down. Keeping the feet now nice and parallel, nice and level, I want you now to send, take a nice giant step forward with your right foot and come between your hands if you can. So your right foot comes forwards. You're gonna keep a bend through that right knee. You're gonna sit the left knee down onto the mat and you'll notice how my quad, my thigh muscle is at an angle. It's a little bit further beyond my left hip joint. Okay, from here, you're gonna feel a nice deep stretch through your hip flexor. Okay, your right knee staying on top of your right ankle for now. And then we're gonna try and move the hands away from the floor. And your chest is gonna stay nice and open and in line with your pubic bone. I want you now to push with your pelvis forwards as if to send that knee over your ankle. Deep stretch through the front of your hip flexor. And we're gonna deepen it a little more now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, hands. Lift up towards the ceiling. And I want you to think about your breastbone. You're gonna Send also your breastbone towards the ceiling and hyperextend through your lower back. So we open the front line of the body. And as you exhale, what I want you to do is draw the hands all the way down towards the mat. And you're gonna lengthen your right leg by sitting your bum back towards your left heel. Feeling again that nice deep stretch of the back line of your right leg. You can flex the toes up towards you if you want a deeper stretch. We're rounding also through the spine. And then we're gonna go bent. We press that right foot down into the mat. We now lift the hands up and away from the mat. Pushing that pelvis forwards, inhale, lift. And look for the ceiling, open the front line, chest, hyperextension through the lower back. Exhale, send the bum back towards the heel. Hands come forwards towards the mat, lengthen through that right leg. Toes can come up if you want, rounding through the spine. Last time here, press into that right foot, send the pelvis slightly forwards, lift the hands away, inhale, reach and lift. Hip flexor is nice and open on that left side. We also get a stretch through the obliques and the abdominals. Breathing in nice and deep. 
exhale to come forwards. Both hands come onto the mat. We lengthen out that right leg. Toes again, lifting up. Excellent, okay, from here then, back into our low lunge position. Both hands come down onto the mat. Next to your foot, left hand is a little bit further away from your right foot. Your right hand is quite close. You want to walk now your right foot to the left side of your mat. So we shimmy that right foot all the way over to our left hand. And I want you to drop the outside of your right shin bone down towards the mat if you can. And now you're gonna lengthen through the hip flexor on the left by pushing the foot of the left side towards the back of the mat. And then I want you to try and sit <laughs> in towards that right hip. You should feel a deep stretch then through your glute muscles, specifically your piriformis, your lateral rotators of your pelvis. Breathing in nice and deep here, don't worry if it's quite stuck, sometimes you can be up here and that's fine, you can support yourself with your hands. If you feel this is too easy, you can always walk those hands out in front of your shin so that you're coming down onto your elbows. You try to push that left hip as well towards the mat as much as you can. Two more breaths in this position. And you walk up onto your hands. Okay, both hands either side. So left hand towards the left foot, right hand up onto the mat. And then you're gonna walk your right foot all the way back into center. Really nice. And we're going to change the side. So you're going to curl the toes underneath on the left. Right foot's going to come back to meet your left. We're going to move back into our downward dog. Maybe you feel a little bit different on either side now. <laughs> a little bit more open. And then we're going to walk through with that left. So left foot comes forwards between the hands. And I'm definitely a lot tighter on my right side. And then we're going to allow the left knee to come up on top of left ankle. Really nice. Right hip is a little bit further beyond, or right thigh, should I say, is further beyond my right hip. And then I'm gonna try and draw my hands away. Pushing forward through my pelvis. Now I lengthen through that front right hip flexor. Pushing that knee forwards towards my toes. Pelvis dropping down. Now the hands come in. Inhale, lift. Hands reach all the way up and over. Open the chest. High for extension through that lower back. Exhale, fold forwards, hands come down towards the mat, and then we lengthen through that left leg. Again, draw those toes if you want, up towards you. Deeper stretch through the hamstring, ranging through the spine. And then we allow that left foot to come back towards the mat. Pressing forward through the pelvis, and then we start to remove the hands. Inhale, lift, reaching hands up towards the ceiling. Inhale as you hyperextend. Exhale. Coming all the way down towards the mat again, we lengthen out that left leg. Left foot comes down again towards the mat, pressing through those hands as we allow that knee on the left to come towards the toes. Pressing down into your feet, hands lift, inhale, lift. Open the front line, feel those obliques now on that right side. Exhale to fold forwards. And again, we lengthen through that left leg. Coming back with that left knee now, all the way over our left ankle. Left hand quite close to your left foot. Right hand a little bit further away towards the outside of the mat. We start to shimmy that left foot all the way over to the right side. Again, now we allow that left shin bone to drop towards the mat. We push the right foot back towards the back of the mat. And that right hip 
is coming down a little more. Trying to allow that right pelvic bone, that bony part in front of your pelvis, to push towards the mat. And you should feel that deep stretch all the way up the back of that left hip. Again, don't worry if it's quite stiff or stuck. Again, you have that option to walk those hands forwards. Trying to sit your sit bone, the base of your bum on the left hand side towards the floor. Breathing into it as much as you can. It is quite difficult, so don't worry. If it's not going well for you so far, this is quite a difficult stretch. And again, we're normally quite tight through our hips. A lot of sitting posture, so it's to be expected, but the more, again, the more you do it, the better it's gonna be. Okay, we walk those hands all the way up. One to either side, so left hand around your left knee, right hand towards the outside of your foot. Pressing up and into those hands, we shimmy that left foot all the way back and into center. Really nice, okay. So from here then we're gonna allow that left leg to come all the way in and underneath. Back into our kneeling position. And we're gonna work now through some shoulders. So, I'm gonna face you at the diagonal so we can kind of get a grip on this. So, working through the shoulders now again, I want you to keep your bum can be sat on your heels or on your feet, whatever is most comfortable. You can also sit cross-legged. That'll be up to you. Okay, so we're gonna start with a shoulder joint. Okay, it's really a shoulder complex, but we'll leave that for another day. We're gonna to start to roll. So we lift those shoulders up towards the ears and we roll them forwards. We're gonna draw some nice big circles with those shoulders. All the way up towards the ears, rolling forwards, engaging through the scapula or shoulder blades. You squeeze them together, lifting those shoulders up towards the ears. Last one in this direction. And then we change, so this time shoulders come forwards. Then you lift them up. Squeezing those shoulder blades, you draw the shoulder blades back and down the ribcage, and we repeat shoulders come forwards, lift, and circle. Nice relaxed breath, this isn't quite difficult. Last time here. Really nice. And you allow those shoulders then to be nice and relaxed, okay, away from your ears. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna work through a little bit of movement through your upper back or stretch. So you're gonna grab a hold of your left shoulder with your right hand. So we're gonna hug our chest. <laughs> the left hand comes all the way over around the right. So if you can see, they're actually around my shoulder blades. <laughs> and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna now draw your chin down towards your chest. And you're gonna think about sending your rib cage in towards your torso and down towards your pelvis. So we're rounding through the spine and I want you to pull with those hands, those shoulder blades coming with the hands forwards towards your thighs. And take nice big deep breaths in here. Our lungs, the majority of our lungs are actually placed in our upper back. So the back side of us rather than the front side of us. So really try and push with those lungs. Big deep breaths in to expand through that upper back or thoracic spine. We're gonna go last time here. to reach all the way up and over the top of your head, okay? You're gonna allow your left hand to come down towards your upper back. You're gonna allow your right hand to grip the outside of your elbow, and I want you to pull your elbow towards your right side, but I want you to push also with your left arm outwards. So what you'll feel is a deep pull through your tricep. So it's like opposite movements. You're pulling with your right hand, but you're pushing outwards also with your left. You get a nice deep stretch. You can also push that left hand a little further down towards the middle of your back. Nice deep stretch for those triceps. 
and then inhale, lift the hands all the way up, change the sides, exhale, right hand comes all the way down, falling that left hand and pushing away with the right hand or right arm as your right hand comes all the way back down towards the middle of your back. And again, we breathe in nice and deep here. And of course, my right tricep is a little bit tighter than my left. I really need to work on my right side. <sighs> Breathing in here. Inhale to lift those hands all the way up. Exhale to just drop them down. You should feel a little bit more awareness also through your upper back after that. A little bit more open. Okay, what we're gonna do now is come into what we call our mermaid sequence, okay? Mermaid stretch, really nice the sides of the body. So, you're gonna keep your left foot and heel in towards your pubic bone, like so. Your right foot pulls behind, okay? So, in a bit of a Z sit, okay? Never. If you cannot sit like this, again, cross-legged is totally fine. Okay, you'll still get the same benefits. All right, so from here, I want you to keep your hands into a T position all the way in towards the side, okay? We're gonna go to the left side first. So your left hand comes all the way down towards the floor. Your right hand's gonna lift all the way up and over. And I want you to drop your left elbow now towards the mat. Your right sit bone, the bone that you sit on on your right side is gonna to push towards the mat as your right hand comes up and over and you're moving your rib cage away from your pelvis. Okay, so you should feel the inside, that space on the right side of the body, giving a nice deep stretch. Breathing in here, exhale as you lift all the way back up. This time we go to the right, right hand comes down, the left hand comes all the way up and over. Breathing in here, again you can Push that right elbow down towards the floor. Inhale back to centre. This time we're going to add a twist. So left hand comes all the way down. Bending through that left elbow, right hand comes all the way up and over. This time you're going to twist. So both hands are going to try and come down. Okay, towards the mat. Both elbows, should I say. Pressing that chest bone down. Inhale. Right hand comes all the way up and over. Exhale, right hand down, left hand, right elbow pressing again towards that mat. Stay here, breathe. Inhale back to center. Okay, both hands stay out towards the side. You're going to rotate the chest, grab a hold of your left knee with your right hand, push that knee away from you, draw the left hand behind you, and rotate that chest. Coming all the way back through center, we go to the opposite side. Left hand grabs that right knee, press with that left hand into the right side, and then rotate, right hand comes behind. Back through center. Last time, rotate to the right. Again, press into that knee with your right hand. Rotate all the way around. Exhale as you come all the way back through center around to the left knee. And then back to center. We're going to change the legs. So this time your right heel comes in towards your pubic bone. Left knee in the opposite direction with your left foot coming behind you. Okay. Hands again back into your T. I want you to think about that left sit bone. We want to try and sit that left sit bone down onto the mat. Both hands all the way. This time we're going to go to the right. So right hand comes to the mat. Left hand draws up and over. We draw that right elbow down. Open up that left side body again. Left sit bone pressing towards the mat as you reach the rib cage away from the pelvis. Breathing in nice and deep here. Feel that deep stretch. Exhale as you return all the way back up. Left hand towards the mat. Left elbow drops down. Right hand up and over this time. back to center this time we add a rotation so right hand comes down elbow comes towards the floor left hand all the way up and over rotate now this time both are coming both elbows towards the mat 
Nice rotation through the chest. Inhale again. As you exhale, we're gonna lift that left hand all the way back up. Left hand again towards the left side of the mat. Right hand up and over, left elbow. Bending, dropping down. Back and into center, into your rotations now. So this time we grab a hold of our left knee. With our right hand, press away. Inhale, exhale as you come through the midline, through center. And then left hand towards the outside of that right. And I'm extremely stuck on that right side. Woo. Back through center again. All the way over to the left. The right side is giving out to me today. Back through center last time, out to the left. Press that left hand into your right knee, right thigh. Rotate all the way around. All the way back and through the center. Okay. Last little bit now. To finish, we're going to come back into our quadruped position. Okay. Toes are going to curl under. Again, wrists in front of shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Toes curled underneath onto the mat. I want you to lift your pelvis up towards the ceiling, back into our downward dog. So heels are coming down towards the mat. Chest bone dropping. Okay, tailbone up towards the ceiling, nice length through the back line of the body. What I want you to do now is walk those feet all the way in towards your hands, in towards coming underneath your pelvis more so than anything. Okay. Keeping your hands towards the floor. Think about allowing your shoulder blades to move down your rib cage. Okay, so your fingertips are kind of lengthened down towards the floor. We get that nice deep stretch all the way up the back lines. Breathing in nice and deep. You're gonna bend through that right knee. Your left leg is gonna stay nice and long, okay? You're gonna keep your right hand where it is. I want you to open up the left side of your body. You should feel a little bit more of a stretch now through that left glute. Breathing in nice and deep. Rotation through the chest. Exhale to come back to center. We change the legs. Left knee bends this time. Left hand stays where it is. Right opens up. Breathing in again nice and deep. Exhale. Ooh, right hand comes all the way down. Excellent stuff from here now. Lengthening both of those legs. And we're going to start to restack that spine. So you start from the tailbone. You start to send the tailbone underneath the pelvis, pubic bone rolling up in the opposite direction. Pelvis comes up on top of your hips. Ribs on top of your pelvis. Shoulders on top of your ribs. Head and neck lift. From here, then we're gonna inhale. Reach those hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Think about length through the center. Pressing those fingertips up nice and long. I want you to grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand. And as you exhale, I want you to side bend to the right. So we open again through the left side of the body. Breathing in nice and deep here. Exhale, lift all the way back up. Change the hands. Reach with those right fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale here. Exhale, lift. Press those fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, send the hands down along the sides of the body. Press the air away. Last time, inhale, reach. Exhale. And that is it. Voila. <laughs> Functional mobility. I hope you feel fantastic after that. Generally, I feel that I have a lot of areas to work on, um, but I do feel more aware of my body and definitely open at the areas that I was quite tight in. A little bit more awareness around my hips and definitely around my shoulders. I hope you got out of it what you wanted to. Again, feel free to share with your friends and family. Let's all try and keep as physically active as we possibly can. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button. So red button somewhere down along this line here and um, so that will alert you to any videos that I have up and coming in the next in the next couple of days in the near future whenever I get around to them. As always I really appreciate leaving comments, suggestions for exercises or routines or workers that you would like to see and I will try and get to them 
as I can, as many of them as I can. And um, I have a lot of time on my hands today, so why not? Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you joining me today. And until next time, I'll see you.